term sclerosis is frequently used in pathology. It is a morbid hardening of any tissue or structure. In fact, it isn't confined to animals. It can also be uh, used to describe changes in plants. When applied to human pathology, sclerosis usually implies deposition of excess collagen and this produces the hardening of the tissues. Sclerosis may be harmless, for example, if a benign tumour has a sclerotic stroma, but in many cases sclerosis has a rather more sinister implication where there is gradual damaging and destruction of the affected tissues. The best way to describe sclerosis is to look at a number of examples. A few examples of sclerosis include systemic sclerosis, sclerosing cholangitis, sclerosing adenosis, a condition that occurs in the breast and prostate, lichen sclerosis, arteriosclerosis, multiple sclerosis and glomerulosclerosis. And this is just a fraction of diseases or conditions characterised by sclerosis. This segment of A also shows features of arteriosclerosis, or in this case atherosclerosis, where there is deposition of fatty plaques causing collagen to be laid down and the wall of the aorta becomes hardened. In other words, sclerotic. This is another example of atherosclerosis, but in this case rather more dangerous. And this is a coronary artery whose lumen has become significantly narrowed as a result of atherosclerosis, impairing blood flow through the coronary artery. This photograph shows a hand and the tips of the fingers are being destroyed by deposition of collagen. This condition is called systemic sclerosis and because it affects the skin, in this case it is also known as scleroderma. This is lichen sclerosis where collagen is being laid down in the upper dermis. This slice of brain shows features of multiple sclerosis, characterised by separate areas where there is loss of myelin in the brain. And the demyelinated areas become firmer because of deposition of glial tissue, hence the term sclerosis, because the brain feels firmer in the affected areas. This is an example of a rare tumour characterised by sclerosis and this is a sclerosing Sertoli cell tumour of the testis and this is a type of sex cord stromal tumour. At the centre of the picture here is a bile duct and it is surrounded by concentric rings of collagen and this is an example of primary sclerosing cholangitis. This is a condition characterised by inflammation of the bile ducts, resulting in deposition of collagen around them, which will over time occlude and finally destroy the bile ducts. So this is an example of a destructive type of sclerosis. This is a kidney biopsy and at the top right of the picture there is a normal glomerulus with a fine capillary network and as we move towards the bottom left of the picture you can see a glomerulus that has been destroyed by deposition of collagen. This is called glomerulosclerosis. This is another example of a normal glomerulus with nice tufts of capillaries and no evidence of excess fibrosis. Here are two glomeruli almost completely obliterated by deposition of collagen that is staining blue.
and this is another example of how sclerosis can gradually destroy the function of an organ by obliterating glomeruli one by one. Here is a normal breast lobule and here there is sclerosis of the lobules and this condition is called sclerosing adenosis. And this is a type of harmless sclerosis where the only damage that can really occur is if the pathologist misdiagnoses the sclerosing process as cancer resulting in unnecessary radical treatment.